Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a shoe unboxing and it's going to be of these beautiful Jeffrey Campbells. This is now my seventh pair of Jeffrey Campbells and the majority of the boxes they have come like this. My cat tapestry liters came in the unicorn box, which the unicorn box is my favourite one. It's really, really pretty, but it's just a box. But I am sad enough to keep the shoes in the boxes because it kind of helps keep them protected as you know, Jeffrey Campbell's aren't really the cheapest shoes. So here it just says Molder Calf Black size 36. So I got these in a size 3. Majority of my Jeffrey Campbell's are a 4, so my normal litres are a 3, but they do feel a bit tight, so when I got the cat tapestries they're a 4. I have reviewed my cat tapestries, which I'll link below. I got the Forevers, they're in a 3, flat pair of shoes which are a 4, Foxy T-bars are a 4, and my Coltrane's are a 4. I have tried on one of these shoes, um, and I tried on a 4. There wasn't really much between the sizing, so if you can I would suggest trying them on because I think it does kind of vary shoe to shoe. That's what I found with Jeffrey Campbell. So inside, this is how they've been packaged. As usual, each shoe comes in a dust bag to keep them nice and protected. These shoes, the moulders, you're going to either love them or hate them. I of course love them. And I got these from Love Clothing and these were 160. I wanted to show them to you box fresh. The leather does wrinkle um, and kind of slouches, but not in like a bad way, like in a nice way. But I wanted to show them to you all perfect. So I don't actually know the um, heights, so I got my little Dalmatians ruler to measure. The heel is six inches and the platform is from the top to the bottom is what you should measure is two. There's only really a raise as you can see of like four inches so they don't really feel that high when you wear them. So they are made of leather and the sole is quite like I think the um, coal trains that I had were this kind of not really soft but it doesn't look that hard wearing. But at least on this pair it has like an extra bit on the bottom. Like with my cold trains I did have to get them re-heeled but I was wearing them a lot. But the soles on theirs are just really soft and they wear quite quickly compared to a normal shoe. So at least this has like that bit so it won't really wear down as quickly. So the zip is at the back. They are really easy to get on and off. Um, I was quite surprised, I do have quite like slim ankles and they fit me really well around the ankle. Obviously as you go up a size they get looser around the ankle so if that's maybe a worry you could always kind of size up. So I think these are amazing, I really want to get these scullies in white. So these are kind of similar to the scullies, um, if you haven't seen the scullies they are like this but they are not a boot, I'm trying to <laughs> describe this well. So imagine this kind of part was cut out and it just had a strap around the ankle, that is what a scully is. But I'll get the other one out as well, I'm just showing one shoe. So the other one, so inside it's just full of tissue which I think is really good because it keeps it keeps its shape whilst in the box. As I said if these didn't have this in and the box got squashed like the shoes would come very squashed. So I will film them on. Um, I hope you don't wrinkle them too much. I kind of, I do slightly wish they kind of stayed in this kind of condition, but when they do wrinkle, um, like if you look up pictures of people who have them, who've actually like worn them in, you can tell what I mean. Like I wasn't really sure what the material of these would be like when I saw pictures because they look so like wrinkled and slouched. But yeah, the material is, I'd say, as thick as the litre. Not really sure what else to say. When I've tried them on, they're really comfy. They make you really tall. They really lengthen the leg. So these would be great to wear with like dark skinny jeans for a really like extra long legged look. So now I've actually unboxed them, I can wear them. The leather does feel quite um, soft. So hopefully they won't be hard to wear in, for instance. I think most of the shoes have been fine. I can't remember what the, the flats have called. Oh, elegant flats. They were really hard to wear in. And um, the coal trains were so hard to wear in. I still have to make sure I'm wearing socks with my coal trains. I don't trust wearing them without socks. Um, because when I first started wearing them, they completely ruined my feet. But they are now one of my most worn shoes. So these I think would be great for when I go to London, go to events. Kind of like tottering around London, but not maybe a great deal of walking. 
that would be good. Maybe let me know what you think of these shoes. Would you wear them? And if so, what would you wear them with? I'd love to know. And I hope you enjoyed my unboxing. If you have any more questions about the shoes, which I didn't cover, then leave them below and I will answer them for you. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. <laughs>